Hi everyone, welcome to Java Wave, where we will discuss about Java interview question and their answers. I am Gayatri, and today we are going to discuss very important interview question: difference between interface and abstract class. So, what is interface and what is abstract class? Interface and abstract class both are one of the way to provide abstraction in Java. What is abstraction? In abstraction, only required feature of an entity is exposed to external world and not all the detail. And both interface and abstract class are used to create contract between classes. So first we will see this with the help of Java code also. This is an interface vehicles where we have a variable vehicle type, an abstract method vehicle color, a default method traffic rule. And a static method speed. After Java 8, interfaces can have default and static method too. Before that, only abstract method was allowed. Abstract method means only method declaration. There is no method implementation. And this is an abstract class number plate for personal use, which is implementing vehicle interface. Here we have private variable, a final method, and an abstract method. But to declare a class as abstract or to declare a method as abstract, we need to put abstract keyword before them, which is not required in interface. There is one more abstract class, number plate for commercial use, which is also implementing vehicle interface, same as this class, number plate for personal use, this is also implementing vehicle interface. And there is one final method, vehicle number plate. and SOP is there, color of number plate in India for commercial use should be yellow and same final method is here also but color of number plate in India for personal use should be white. So let's try to use this abstract classes and interface in a real life example like I have a car Innova and that this car is for my personal use so I am extending number plate for personal use abstract class. To get a basic feature of a vehicle, I am implementing vehicle interface also. So first rule will be for this class to implement all the unimplemented method, all the abstract method, whether it is coming from a abstract class or from a vehicle. So first I need to implement all the unimplemented method. So this will be first rule for my class. Now we will try to understand all the differences between interface and abstract class one by one here. Interface keyword is used to make an interface whereas abstract keyword is used to make a class abstract. An interface can extend multiple interface whereas an abstract class can extend single class which could be another abstract class also and it can implement multiple interface. An interface can have abstract, static and default method that too after Java 8. Before Java 8, only abstract method was allowed. An abstract class can have abstract, non-abstract, final, static, all kind of method. Variable in interface are by default public, static and final variable, whether we are declaring them public, static, final or not. Whereas variable in abstract class need to be declared as per their requirement. In interface, all the methods are by default public, whereas in abstract method need to be declared as per their requirement. Object of an interface cannot be created and it needs to be implemented. Means we cannot create object of interface by using new keyword and it need to be implemented by another Java class to create object of an interface. Similarly, object of an abstract class also cannot be created directly and it need to be extended. Interface cannot have constructor whereas abstract class can have constructor. So these are main difference between abstract class and interface. There is one more famous interview question. How to choose between abstract class and interface? As we know about Abstract class and interface both are here to provide abstraction. So when to go for interface and when to go for abstract class. If we know about only nature of method but not share about their implementation, 
so we can go for interface because our in our interface i can keep all my method as abstract so that it can be implemented as per their requirement and if we are sure about implementation of few methods only then abstract class can be used here and i can write concrete and abstract method both in abstract class one more reason to choose interfaces over abstract class is a java class can extend only one class whether it is abstract class or any other concrete class but it can implement any number of interfaces like in thread we can create thread in two ways by extending thread class and by implementing runnable interface but if we i am extending thread class i cannot extend any other class whereas if i am implementing runnable interface i can implement any other interface also and i can extend any other class so as per requirement we can choose between abstract class and interface with this we covered this topic difference between abstract class and interface please write in in comment box if you have any question or suggestion for me to see all the videos on java interview please subscribe my channel java wave thanks for watching bye bye